Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today. Today it is Seagull Daily, it is um, transfer potential signings, but the reason I've changed it is so I could go more in with the club. Um, so like the more news with the club, I can also do our outgoings as well, uh, and all the speculation around that. Um, but if you like the shorter ones, put down comments below and I'll go back to them. But, you know, guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. And let's go. Um, right, so the first thing I'm going to talk about is Shalotto is looking to have pro season with us. Um, you know, last season he went out on loan um, under Chris Shooton, after Chris Shooton bringing him in. Um, I have got... When I first saw Schlotto, it was at Tottenham away at Wembley. Um, you know, he didn't have a good game, but it does take time to settle in. I think in the overall, he did okay. Um, I would like him to stay, um, but do you, would you like him to stay? You know, put it down in the comments below and let me know. Um, but I think he's a good right back. Um, obviously, there's no more Bruno. Um, obviously there's still a lot of speculation about players coming in um, So, you know, potentially we could have three to two right backs I think we need this example of three You know, just to keep uh, across that safety um, standard You know, just in case injuries and that But I think Shilotto does okay But would you like him to stay or would, we, or would you like to sell him? Put it down in the comments below. Um, the next story I'm going to talk about is Andre Amandi. Sorry for mispronounced name. Um, he is looking like coming to join the Albion. 28 year old, has got 33 league appearances for Benfica. He plays that right back position. Yet again, another potential right back I'm talking about. Um, how many have I crossed them? Um, his contract done went until the 30th of June 2021, so before the next World Cup year. Um, now I can see a lot of you saying about why would really he want to leave Benfica. He does want to leave, that is in the report anyway. Um, he don't want to stay there. Um, you know, Brighton could probably suit him a lot more than um, what the... Uh, what, ben, what, what the bigger Premier League clubs can do. Um, but apparently he wants to leave. So, and we're, we're in with a shell. If we want to go in for him, I'm expecting it to go around £9 million to £10 million. So for experience right back, I don't think that's a lot to pay. Um, especially if you talk about um, players that we've signed and we ain't seen. Um, so I don't think that's a bad shout. Um, the next bit I'm going to talk about is Alexa McLean All Star. Sorry for mispronouncing his name again. Um, obviously you know who he is. Our signing from not this transfer we know, but the last one. Um, now this is why we haven't been seeing him at all. He's got a work permit issue. When you play out of, like, if you're a person from out the EU, I'm not sure where it's going to lead up to Brexit, but I'm not going to get bogged down with that at the minute. Um, when you're out the EU, you need a work permit. Same as visitors, they need a visa permit. But then you also need a passport from the EU, apparently. Um, but he's having trouble with the work permit and obviously the, all the other issues. Um, will we get to see him play? That's the number one question for... Excuse me. Um, for us at the minute. Um, or was it just a lot of money wasted that Chris Shooting done? I mean, I can see... I see why we get players, but unless you could put them into the first team or even our academy... 
I don't see the point in bringing them in, if you know what I mean. Uh, we're probably going to invest that money a bit more wiser. Um, but yeah, that's why we've not been seeing him. Um, his permit could be granted in September, but because of our transfer window, we cannot see him until July, January 2020. So, you know, even if he does go in September, we still won't be able to see him until the next transfer window to get all across the line. So, you know, as I said, will we see him play? Um, put all this in the comments below, especially your thoughts, because I really am interested. Um, the next bit I'm going to move on an outgoing, um, and that is Ben White has got interest from leagues um, in a line move to, obviously, as I've just said, leagues. Um, he's played, got 15 appearances uh, in League One. He's played for Peterborough, he's played for not, uh, not Newport County. Sorry. Nearly mispronounced them. Um, you know, but will he cut in the championship? And this is yet again where I wish we brought our young players up. Um, will we get to see him in the blue and white jersey for the first team? I know we've seen him in the reserves. I think he has played the odd game in the League Cup, but I'm saying major league games as well is really springing to my mind. Um, but we with the Newport County um, experience and the Peterborough experience, um, do you think we we'll see him in the blue and white shirt for Brighton in the first team in Premier League games? Put it down in the comments below as well. Um, next bit, yet again, another transfer potential signing. Um, Matt Grahams uh, has got interest apparently from us. He's a 23-year-old. He's got one goal in 45 appearances. He plays his main position as a CM. His other positions are CDM and a left mid. So, you know, you know where centre midfield is. Uh, I've explained about that once or twice already in my, in my other videos. A CDM is a set, like a 4-4-2. And then you've got a diamond. And that, C, that CDM just sits on the back or sits in front of the back four. Uh, something I don't think we see at Brighton, not this season anyway. So, more potentially to sign them as a CM. That's my thoughts. Um, I'll play on the left hand, left mid, which is a solid marks position. Um, or, oh, I'm wondering if he could do a CAM. And that's where Paston Rhodes plays. So, this could be an interesting signing if it does happen. Um, but, I, I've covered him more than once. Um, in previous videos, but you know, a 23 year old he's played on the Grand Potter, which makes it more than likely he will sign for us as well. So, all this um, potential uh, interest he could get from other clubs, he more likely will come to us because of that plan on the Grand Potter for Swansea. So, this be another interesting story as it comes through, or if it does come through. But, you know, it's, yeah, I'm going to have to wait and see. My last bit of information for today is that we're interested in Josh Brownhall. Josh Brownhall is a 23-year-old from Bristol City. I don't like all his championship links. Um, you know, we're, we're getting a lot of them. Um, Tony Bloom, spend big, we're in the Premier League. <laughs> Um, but, you know, 23 year old, 45 appearances with 5 goals to his name this season alone. And I'm just talking about the league. I know he might have goals in the cups and that, but I'm not, I'm not talking about, you know, the cup games. I'm just more focused on their league um, stats than anything else at the minute. Um, obviously, if we do sign him, then I'll go into further detail. Um but as I said, Josh, 23, he, um, you know, looks like interest, but he has got interest from other clubs as well. But just before I get to him, other clubs, his main position is, yet yeah, again, a CM. So we are looking for a lot of CMs, well, a lot of potential CMs around this window. 
and plus the right backs. <laughs> um, but you can also play a CAM and a CDM. And now I'll explain CAM to you once, but I'll explain it to you again. It's where Paston Rose plays basically that second strike as well, if you want. Um, so he playing like Diamond, he'll be on the front. Or we can play a CDM, obviously you know what CDM is. I explained it to you under Matt. Um, but he has got interest from other clubs as well. So he's got interest from Leagues, Derby and Sheffield United as well. Have all been linked to the player. So we might not see him in the Premier League or we might with Sheffield United. But, you know, let's wait and see what happens. But guys, I've got to bring this video to an end. Guys, you know what to do. Give us a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.